Arts, Claire Wellesley-Smith, and I'm a, an artist, writer and researcher, and I've been based here as artist in residence at Elmfield Hall since January 2017. So I was introduced to Community Solutions um, by an organisation called Super Slow Way, who are an arts commissioning body uh, based in Pennine, Lancashire, and they are interested in building um, community stories uh, through artist residences, um, looking at the history of communities and industries along the Leeds Liverpool Canal between Peddle and Blackburn and this site was chosen because of its particular interest around the heritage and the textile heritage of the area. So tell us a little bit about the group that you developed and um, kind of the makeup of the group and aspects of what you've done as a group. So um, after a period of research and development, visiting the site, visiting lots of the groups who already meet here at Community Solutions, we did start a weekly engagement um, every Friday morning uh, with a group of people who were sometimes here because they were interested in heritage, sometimes uh, because they wanted a social, uh, a social group to attend, interested maybe in some different sorts of creative activity um, and a group developed really that was full of people who had um, lots of different needs um, but really uh, enjoyed the, um, the, the community aspect of the way that we work together uh, and got lots of uh, benefits from that. So we met and did collaborative research really. Um, I encouraged people to go off and do their own bits in their own time um, and what we found was that people became very, very interested in the heritage of their local community um, and they started asking their friends and their neighbours if they had any things to add to our story. Um, and we did this in a very relaxed in an informal way. So the sessions really um, evolve through talking and making and those are the two things that are really central to every group uh, session. Uh, so we would do a creative activity, we'd maybe do something outside, we'd get a walk around the park and there's lots and lots of evidence around um, the well-being benefits of engaging with an environment and that can be an urban environment, it can be a, a very rural environment but even 10 minutes a day of engagement with an outdoor space can be great for well-being so every week we would take a walk up to our polytunnel, we'd have a look at some of the plants we were growing, we'd walk around the park, we used all the stuff that's actually on site here at Community Solutions to develop the work and the creative process. Let's just tell us a little bit about the heritage then and the kind of story, the Anfield Hall story. So um, this site is particularly interesting because it links together the story of a, a family, a business um, and really an industry. The person that we're interested in is Mr Frederick Albert Gatti who uh, was um, an economic migrant to this part of uh, Lancashire. He came over to work in the Turkey um, dyeing and printing industry and he had been invited by uh, his compatriot who's down here. Um, Frederick Steiner, um, another dire printer, both from Alsace Lorraine, and uh, they together built a business that really innovated around the turkey red dyeing process. So, this is turkey red, this particular colour on cotton, and uh, it's a very, very particular process. It was actually a very successful industry in the British 19th century textile industry, but it was very long winded and actually quite expensive to produce and Gatti um, invented a new ad adaptation of that recipe that made both Steiner and Gatti lots and lots of money and so Frederick Steiner who had owned the land that Elmfield Hall is uh, built on sold it to uh, Frederick Gatti who in 1853 built this house for his family really. Uh, his business was next door and uh, he was um, able to manage his, um, his family and his work on site. Um, and for a particular interest, heritage interest, um, he also built a small um, dye house or experiment shed next to the main building. And this building is um, practically untouched since the 1880s. It includes um, a fireplace, a dye vat, a well, um, racking for his uh, for his textiles, um, and we believe that he innovated some of his later recipes in that space. So that's a particular uh, piece of historic interest. It's obviously fed into the work that the group's done, um, and we are trying to preserve that part of the building um, uh, because it's quite unusual.
cultural bit of industrial heritage. So what would you say from sort of working with this group, what are your highlights for how they particularly benefited from, from the project? I mean I suppose the, uh, the real beauty of projects that um, are given appropriate time to work so um, one of the real disadvantages of project based um, work uh, for me is often that you know you may get a period of maybe three months to work with a group of individuals and um, maybe even less time than that we've uh, now been working as a group um, for, 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 for over a year and so in that period you see how people uh, develop um, their new skills and I suppose that what I've found is that people are much much more um, open to um, new ideas, they're um, conversing about um, the uh, heritage and the way that they're thinking about their local community as a real result of engaging with some of the um, information that we're sharing. Um, a particular um, example would be a gentleman who um, arrived at the group feeling very, very lacking in confidence and really participated but didn't really speak for the first maybe three months. And he is now mentoring new members of the group when they come in. He, he explains what he's done, he shows them the notebooks he's made. Um, it's an absolute transformation. And what we're also finding is that people are, are connecting their weekly activity here to how they feel about the wider area in Hindburn. So, um, they're talking about uh, Appleton and Church in, in actually a very different way. Um, there's quite a negative attitude sometimes to um, people's experience of living in this area. And uh, the more people are finding out about the past and how it relates to the present, um, the more positive really they are about the future.